I asked him which tight end in the NFL really impresses him right now, and yeah. he went on and on about Travis Kelsey. And at one point, he said, you know, the fact that Travis Kelsey is getting half the money of a top receiver boggles the mind. And I know George Kittle's got a vested interest in that, too. But it really got me to think, in this explosion of the receiver market, tight ends are woefully underpaid now. And it's not like you got a bunch of tight ends coming out in the draft every year that everybody's enamored with. you got receivers, 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 receivers. Where are the tight ends? And and you got a weapon like Travis Kelsey, like George Kittle, to open up your passing game that way, Rob Gronkowski. Kittle made the point. Look at the past several Super Bowls. Everybody's got a tight end who no can question. play. No question. No question. Look at what Gronk's done. Right. So – it's a good point by George Kittle. It is, very much so. I mean, it is. And and I think we're seeing, you know, with some of the really good offensive coordinators in football and some of the good offenses that are not named Kansas City, really, everybody else, you know, running the ball, play action, tight end down the middle is a huge part of the football game. Uh, it is. They they have found that combination to screw over the second level linebackers or safety down there, and that's where the tight end and the Darren Wallers come into play. To where, yeah, you really look at it, Mike. You, it's it's a great point. They are undervalued now with the current you know market and and the tight end. These some of these guys are more valuable than any of these receivers to their football team. And everybody's wondering what Rob Gronkowski is going to do, and you get cryptic messages from time to time. And I think he's smart enough to not come off as greedy, although it's not greed. It's just good business. Yeah. They're talking about paying him 9 or $10 million. When you consider what the receiver market is and what he means to that team and how good he is still, the, the kind of, of target he provides, that catch radius that's built into his frame, and everything he can bring to a football team – and the receiver market goes haywire, and they expect him to take eight or nine million dollars. No thanks, ain't worth it. Ain't playing for that. Mm -hmm. If I'm Gronk, and I've never spent a penny of my football money because I've been living off my endorsements for a decade, I'm not getting out of bed for more for less than fifteen million a year. Don't let's not even have the conversation. The question is, how much more than fifteen million is it going to take? It's 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 a valid point. I mean, it is. He's at a point of his career, like I think where you're talking about. I mean, financially, he's not going to be desperate. That's for sure. You know, and yeah, you're going to have to make it worth his while. It certainly is low, that type of number for a player like Rob Gronkowski. It is. And, and, and you're right to the team like Tampa, again, like them or Darren Waller with the Raiders or Kelsey or whatever. I mean, a big part of their offense and the quarterback making him feel comfortable is through the tight end. They like that. So uh, I hear you there, Mike. I, I bet you that Gronk is not going to settle for nine or ten. He's going to want something, a bump up from what he's been getting. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.